everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's so nice to hear. Are you ready to get started with our good morning song? Let's make our arms out like airplane wings first to stretch. Stretch those airplane wings. Now make those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch that circle up, up, up over your head and give a little stretch from one side. Stretch over to the other side. One last stretch to the top and bring the circle right back in front of you. And now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Let's get started with circle time. Now the first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we say the date, we start off up here with the month. This month is almost over. Do you know what the month is? March, that's right. The month is March. And today is March 25th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was March 24th and today is March 25th, and right up here we have the year. If you know what the year is, you can say it out loud with me. 2021, that's right friends. So let's say the date one more time, all together. Are you ready? Today is March 25th, 2021. Okay friends, let me see those counting fingers like this. Warm them up and give them a big stretch. We have lots and lots of counting to do because we are going to count all of the days that we've had in the month of March. So not only do we need to have our counting fingers nice and ready, let's also take a deep breath together. We are going to breathe the air in through our nose like this and out through your mouth. One more deep breath together. <sighs> Counting fingers ready. Let's start at the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Whew. We counted 25 days in the month of March. Friends, I need to see your fingers again, but instead of just one counting finger, we are going to sing the days of the week song. So how many fingers do we need for that next song? Seven, that's right friends. For this song, we need to hold up seven fingers because we have seven days in the week. If you know the words to the song, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart, right down here. Do you remember what the day was? Yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was what? Wednesday. That's right. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that means that today is th Thursday. Today is Thursday, friends. And if today is Thursday, tomorrow will be th Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. But let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Thursday together. It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. 
Okay, friends, let's travel back up to the top of the chart, right up here. We have a new season that started recently. Do you remember what season it is right now? Spring. That's right, friends. It's springtime. And where I live, the weather is starting to get nicer and the temperature is starting to warm up. But before we talk more about the weather, let's sing the weather song together. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, do you see my picture right down here? This is a picture of what I see when I look outside of my window. So right now, when I look up in the sky outside of my window, it's gray and white. It's a cloudy day where I live. I wonder if it will start to rain later. Right now, it's only cloudy. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's pretty warm where I live. It's a warm, cloudy day. Maybe it will be rainy later. What's the weather like where you live? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter and the number of the week. This week, we have been learning about this letter. This letter says L. L. Can you make that sound with me? L. L. And do you know what letter this is? L. That's right. This is a lowercase l. And L says L. L. Let's guess what's inside of the letter box today. I wonder what we'll find. Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter L. L. Here's your first clue, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. This is a type of a citrus fruit, and this citrus fruit is the color yellow and can be pretty sour. Do you think you know what it is? Let's take a look. A lemon. A lemon is a type of a citrus fruit. It's pretty sour if you eat it. It's the color yellow. I like to take some lemon juice and squeeze it inside of my ice water. What do you do with lemons? Have you ever made lemonade before? Lemon starts with the letter L. L. Let's move on to the number of the week. This week we have been learning about this double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 16, you're right. This is the number 16. And 16 is a double digit number because when you write the number 16, you have to write two numbers. First, you write the number one, and then you write the number six, the number 16. Let's count 16 tally marks together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across. And one more makes sixteen. Sixteen tally marks. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the number box to count today. Let's take a look. Ooh, I have all of these wood chips. Now remember friends, wood chips are just small pieces of wood that came from a large branch or a tree. Now, as you can see, these wood chips are a very similar color to the top of the box. So hopefully as I count them, they won't camouflage or blend in too much and you can see them. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 wood chips. Now that we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week, it's time to go over the sign of the week. And this week, we've been learning how to say the word thank you in sign language. Do you remember how to say thank you? That's right, friends. Thank you. Let's say thank you one more time. Watch my hand. Thank you. Okay, friends, are you ready to guess today's community helper? Here's your first clue. This community helper works with books. This community helper works in the library. And the name of this community helper starts with this letter, the letter L, which is the letter of the week. Do you know what today's community helper is? A librarian. A librarian works in a library with books, and librarian starts with the letter L, which is the letter of the week. I love going to the library to borrow new books, but let's take a closer look at a book. So right here, we have the cover of the book. On the cover of the book, you will find the title of the book or the name of the book. The title of this book is called My World. And on the bottom of the cover is the name of the author. The author is the person who wrote the story. So the author of this book is Margaret Wise Brown. And the illustrator of the book, or the person who drew the pictures, is Clement Hurd. Now, when you open up the cover of the book in America, you turn the pages to the left, like this. Sometimes pages will have numbers on the bottom. Sometimes the pages will have words. Sometimes the pages will have pictures. And sometimes you will have pictures and words on the pages. And when you get to the end of the story, this is the back cover of the book. This part of the book right here is called the spine. Now books are so special and very fragile, so it's very important that you always handle them with care. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you are going to be the author and the illustrator of your very own book. So in order to do that, let's go over the materials that you will need. You will need some paper, some markers, stickers, or any other craft materials that you choose to illustrate your book. Now, in order to bind the book or in order to secure the book together, you can use a stapler or a hole punch with some yarn. I decided to use one, two, three, different color pieces of paper and fold them in half on top of each other like this. Now, in order to secure the book, we need to bind it. You can use a stapler and I'm going to staple the side right down the middle like this, one, two, three. Now all the pages are attached together. Another option to bind the book would be to take all of your pages together and along this side you can use your hole punch and punch holes like this. One, two, and you can use a piece of ribbon or a piece of yarn and loop it through and just tie it together like this. 
it's completely up to you because you are the author and the illustrator of the book. So there are a couple of different options to bind the book. So once all of your pages in the cover are securely attached, you can illustrate the book. So this would be the front cover and inside are the pages. You can use markers or crayons or paint to draw pictures. You can add stickers. You can add numbers on the bottom of the page or words to write a story. It's completely up to you, friends. You are going to be the author and the illustrator today. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I would love to see the work that you create today as authors or illustrators. If you would like to share your work with me, have your grown up send me a picture. Today we learned about a librarian, and a librarian is a community helper who works with books in a library. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.